It's good to study the Bible, but you need a taste. It's good to read the menu, but you've got to eat the food. <laughs> oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So that's what we're after. That as we study the word, of course, uh, we want each one to experience, personal experience, taste and see the Father's love. So we're not looking at a theological understanding, but we're looking at an experiential understanding. That means you need to experience the love of God. It didn't say, oh, study the Bible and see that God is good. It says, oh, taste and see. So we must understand that, first of all, God is a relational God. That is interesting in John 17, verse 24. Jesus is praying his high priestly prayer. He says, Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which you have given me. For you loved me before the foundation of the world. So the first part is saying, Father, I want all these people, I want them to see me in the glory. I want them to be with me. I want them to see me in the glory. So one day you and I will get to see Jesus in his glory. But the latter part of that same verse, he's saying, Father, for you loved me even before the foundation of the world. So that God feels love. He not only loves, but he receives love. He can be loved. So extending that thought to you and me is that we are created in the image of God which means we are also created to love and be loved. God has made us the focus of his unconditional, unlimited love. So if we really want to experience the Father's love, and if we really want to be able to rest in that love, abide in that love, live out of that love, first thing, we need to receive wholeness for our brokenness. Here's the problem, but our capacity to love and be loved is broken. Our capacity to receive love and give love is broken. I want to put before us seven wrong postures. By wrong postures, we mean wrong mindsets, wrong thinking patterns that actually... Uh, limit us from experiencing the Father's love. Let's ask God to change it and, and discard these wrong mindsets. To the prodigal, God says, you know, while you were still a sinner, I loved you. I loved you. And that, that level and the intensity of God's love is not going to change when you were outside, now you're inside. He still loves us. Ask just, just the same. To the slave, he says, even before the foundation of the world, I plan to have you as my son or daughter. Embrace that. To the orphan, he said, I plan for you to be adopted into my family. You belong in my family. To the outcast, he says, I plan to have you near me. I want you to be so close to me, I made you sit right next to me. In the heavenly places in Christ. You are seated there. To the proud elder brother, he says, just receive my love. Pause. Enjoy what's yours. To the wounded, he says, I'm too good to do you wrong. I'm too gentle to harm you. Too perfect to let you down. To the wounded, yeah. to the self-critical, he says, don't condemn yourself. Because I am not condemning you. John, the beloved disciple, he says this. He says, what marvelous love, 1 John 3, 1 from the Message Bible. What marvelous love the Father has extended to us. Just look at it. We're called children of God. That's who we really are. What marvelous love the Father has extended to us. All we have to do is to receive that love. Receive it. And don't let any of these wrong mindsets hinder you from experiencing the Father's 